disc brakes, it's, it's most important part is it's more safe. Uh, you have more control over the bike when you're going in a downhill. You can do some tactical braking by taking over people in finals or in the first lap. You can always rely on your brakes and that's the most important thing as cyclists, right? That you know that when I brake I will stop. I think it's important also you can, you can brake uh, much later in, before the corners. It always works. You can always stop and that's really important to me. And I'm enjoying cyclocross much more now because I always have the brakes. This is the third season I'm using them and uh, yeah, there have been some changes in the calipers which has been good for cyclocross so that they stay open a bit more and uh, you, can, you can keep braking. That was a bit of a problem in the first year, but uh, no, now I'm very happy with them. Recently I won a race in Deegan when I used really the limits of the disc brakes and I said it afterwards also I wasn't I wasn't able to do that with, with cantilevers. It wasn't possible because you don't have the brake power. You have more control over the bike. Um, in a downhill it's it's the most important uh, part of the of the race so that you feel okay now I have really control and that's what I like the most. I think this is a big advantage especially when they are smart because in the mud the four brakes they are not working so good then the disc brakes they were still working and uh, in cyclocross we have a lot of mud and that's the reason also because they are important. Since I've been on the bike it's the best innovation together with the uh, DI2, the electric shifting. Those are the two most important things that, that happened in cyclocross when I was racing. They you know that you can brake, you don't have to worry about the brakes. Uh, you have brake power whenever you want to have brake power. and. Yeah, you can just do, do your own thing and you can break later in the corners. I think that the uh, disc only future is coming uh, really quick. Uh, every year more riders are riding with disc brakes. Uh, it starts in the US and it comes to Europe right now and uh, you see that uh, yeah, the, um, in the top 10 uh, there are uh, five, six riders with disc brakes right now. And it comes really quick and uh, that's what uh, is going to happen in uh, cyclocross definitely the next few years.